If your garden is overproducing like mine, then you need to make a garden salsa. Truth be told, I did like nothing for this garden. Every one of these cherry tomatoes grew from last year's harvest. I didn't even plant them. They just sprouted up and gave me their goodness. I've just chopped up a bunch of the cherry tomatoes and then we grew these serrano peppers. So everything in here is homegrown from my own home. What if I was a type of granny who did like this? This should be easier than I feel like that was. Oh, that's how my grandma cut everything. It was always into your thumb, into your thumb. Paring knife for everything. If you wanted to add some more depth to this, you could definitely like roast these, but we're just gonna raw dog these. <laughs> I can't. Uh, we're just gonna raw dog these tomatoes in the salsa and not cook them. <laughs> these are some pickles that I got from a friend and then I added some jalapenos in. I don't have any jalapenos other than this. So we're adding in just a bunch of pickled jalapenos. A spoonful of garlic helps the medicine go down. If I had real limes, I'd use real limes. If I had not dried cilantro, I'd use that as well. That's okay. You do you. We are going to make it work. Onion powder. Salt. Pepper. Okay. Oh, it smells good like salsa. Because presentation matters. Here goes. I hope it's good. It smells good. Cheers. It is so delicious. We did something here. This is a great use of those tomatoes that were just going to go bad sitting on my counter. Yeah, I'm talking about you tomatoes right there. Oh, this is so delicious. I can't wait to add it to tacos tonight. I think that those pickled tomatoes really gave this the kind of acidity that it needed and it gave it depths of flavor and mm, mwah, delicious. <laughs> This is a horse, in case you weren't sure. When I first saw it, I didn't see a horse. Really bothering me and my daughter that it's uneven. Are we good? I guess the cabinet's not good. Ah, it's the, the cabinet. cabinet. <laughs> That's what it is. The cabinet's uneven. 